Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing kind of a scandalous and very embarrassing story time. We are going to be talking about the first time I actually got caught stealing. I'm sure we can all admit to a time or two where we may have been at the self-checkout and we had an item that was a certain price and we may have accidentally or purposely scanned an item for a lesser price and then placed the more expensive item in the bag, right? Y'all kind of know where I'm going with that? Yeah. Well, I did that. Okay, so let me give you guys a little bit of backstory on how this all like started. Years okay. ago, your girl fell on hard times and I was more or less living out of my car. So I had like no money and I was like working on set and stuff as much as I could, but it just wasn't cutting it to like make a living. So I was literally living out of my car. So I started shoplifting i was i was always paying something i was never just like walking out of there with things that i just took for you know without paying anything but i was definitely shoplifting like i was scanning things that were cheaper for more expensive items and especially at that time because i had transitioned to being a vegan right before i fell on hard times so Vegan groceries are actually really, really expensive and I really couldn't afford it anymore. But for the life of me, I did not want to go back to eating the things that I could afford, like sandwich meat and you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. So I kind of felt like I had to do what I had to do. Like, so I was like scanning like regular cheese, which was like 98 cents and then putting like my $6 vegan cheese in the basket type of so thing. So either way it goes. One day I'm at Walmart and I'm scanning like, I had got like groceries now that I think about it. It was like vegan turkey meat, vegan butter, vegan cheese, but it was like a good bit of stuff. And it came up to be like, what I should have paid for it was like 70 something dollars. What I actually paid for it was like, 25 bucks and you know I did my thug fizzle but I'm not gonna lie to you I broke a personal rule of mine I always told myself I only shoplifted for myself or my family and only for things that we absolutely needed on this particular day I was there with my best friend who had also fallen on hard times and she needed me to get a few things for her. She wasn't comfortable doing it. She didn't feel like she could do it as slick as I was just like, whatever, like I'll just do it for you and get it out the way. But as we're walking out the door, the lady who's like usually standing at the door checking receipts, you know, the lady who's usually not doing her job and never paying attention. She immediately stops me and is like, um, can I see your receipt? And I like kind of try to keep walking, like I don't hear her. And then before I know it, there's like a lady and a guy standing in front of me like, we need you to step into this room real quick. And so my best friend walks off with her stuff. Like, sh like she looks at me and beelines it to the dough. Like, oh hell no. Nah. And they escort me into the security. So of course, my heart is beating like crazy like and the lady's like um do you know why we have you in here and i'm like no and she's like you were shoplifting and i'm like what are you talking about and she's like this stuff right here in your buggy like what do you mean what i'm talking about you didn't pay for it and i'm like just sitting there of course they're like can we see that receipt please they take it ring up everything in the buggy tell me that the total comes to you know basically almost 80 bucks ask me you know why i was stealing pretty much and i'm still just kind of sitting there like 
I mean, what do you want me to say? So I asked her, I'm like, you know, can I just pay for it? Like, can I just, like, I can call somebody to send me the money. Can I just pay for it? Like, I'm really sorry. I just needed this stuff. And she's like, oh, baby, we're way past that. Like, we've already called the cops. So you just sit tight and they'll be with you in a second. So of course I'm sitting there absolutely shitting my pants because I'm already not in the best financial state at the moment. The last thing that I wanted to have to do was call my parents from jail and then tell them that I was homeless. <laughs> like that was just not, that was not what I was trying to do. So um, the cop came and he was like, you know, what, you know, basically tell me what happened. Like what's going on? I honestly think that the only reason he asked and wanted to talk to me about it is because when he came in, he noticed that the buggy was like groceries and like, you know, tissue and like stuff like that. So basically tells me that because it's under and it was just I want to say like $11 under $100 they couldn't arrest me thank god told me that they couldn't arrest me because it was like my first offense and it was under $100 and that um basically they were just gonna refund me the 20 something dollars that i did pay they like gave it back to me on a gift card i didn't get to take any of the stuff that i had just got and they basically told me that if i was ever caught shoplifting from that walmart or any walmart ever again i would be banned from all walmarts and i wouldn't be able to come back so although they did not arrest me they definitely wrote me a ticket and if I'm remembering correctly by the time I went to court and I had to pay my ticket off that same day and the judge was leaning it on me because he knew my father I still paid them folks like well it was like 700 bucks 600 seven maybe like $800, it was something crazy. Like it was like a nice little piece of change. If you be stealing from Walmart, don't steal. Like even if you be getting away with it, do the right thing. Uh, and it's so annoying because I sound just like my dad, but it's the truth. Even when nobody's watching, honey, even when you think nobody can see you, even when you think you're gonna get away with it, do the right thing. Because the one time that you don't and you caught slipping, you don't want to be caught slipping doing the wrong thing. Cause it's just embarrassing. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another ridiculous story time of mine. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave it a like and also subscribe to this channel, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video.